ahead of schedule right now and we'll finish on time. Well, congratulations. You guys are doing a bang up job here. This is great. Thank you. I'll pass it on to you. <laughs> Born and raised in Edmonton, uh, grew up in Queen Mary Park neighborhood just south of the, what was then the municipal airport. You know, when I was really young, I wanted to be a fireman or a clown. And who knows, maybe either of them would have been good professions, I don't know. The training at the U of A was terrific. Most importantly in law school, it taught me how to learn. I remember, it must have been around Christmas time of my first year of arts having this sense, almost a physical sense, that my mind was expanding, which was a really wonderful feeling. Doug was always a very bright guy. He was our silver medalist in 1976. He went on to clerk for uh, Justice Martland at the Supreme Court of Canada. And those were the days when there were only 10 Supreme Court law clerks for the entire country. I think to understand Doug Stollery, you really have to understand his parents and where he came from. His mother was uh, lovely and compassionate and concerned about her community and his father was famous for teaching our entire community how to be philanthropic. And I think that Doug picked up the best of both of them and continues to do good work in the community today. Commitment to community is in the DNA of the Stollery family. They're part of the fabric of this community, whether it's in the arts, whether it's in the inner city, at the children's hospital, of course. Doug just does it quietly. He's an, he's an unsung hero in many respects. Hey, Nick. Hey, Great to meet you. Hello. Hey, Nick. Good to see you. So this is the pediatric uh, waiting room where the families and... Uh... He really does care about people and, uh, and he will go out of his way to help you in personal situations, whether it's giving you personal legal advice or just good counsel uh, on life in general. We ended up seeing tremendous value out of what Doug could bring to the table. We now have a very efficient, proactive, internal legal counsel that's doing a darn good job of keeping us out of trouble. After a seven-year battle with the Alberta government, Delwyn Vreen has finally won. Delwyn Freen brought a case against uh, his employer who wanted to let him go because they found out he was gay and the problem was that under the Human Rights Code of Alberta, he couldn't do that. And it was Doug Stollery, Sheila Greckel, who led that case, uh, all pro bono, uh, in front of the Supreme Court of Canada that fundamentally changed our province and also changed our country. Up to that point, there had never been a successful gay rights case in the Supreme Court of Canada. Since then, uh, the, the record of success for gay rights cases in Canada has been tremendous and the law has changed significantly. It's been said that the Breen decision is one of the three most important decisions in the history of the Supreme Court of Canada for the equality rights and provisions it brought not only to lesbian and gay Canadians but to all Canadians. We know our sexual and gender minority, our LGBTQ youth, are some of the most vulnerable citizens we have in our society. And uh, Camp Firefly wouldn't be possible without the support of key community leaders like Doug Stollery, who are willing to not only raise funds to support the camp, but who are there to help refer young people. His goal, once he uh, isn't practicing law, uh, for PCL is to do humanitarian work in third world countries in the area of human rights. And that's where Doug will really shine because he is determined but tender in the way he approaches things. He's very quiet spoken, very humble, but he gets the job done. He just doesn't do it with a lot of fanfare. He really typifies what our first president of the University of Alberta talked about, people who are passionate, people who are knowledgeable and not afraid to use their voices to enact change in our society, to uplift the whole people.